In this week in military history, we discuss the Battle of Horseshoe Bend. During the War of 1812 against Great Britain, fighting erupted in what was the Old Southwest between a faction of the Creek Nation called the Red Sticks and the United States. The First Creek War began in 1813, following growing tensions stemming from white settlers encroaching on Creek land. Some Red Sticks then attacked a regional post, Fort Mims, and killed hundreds, including women, children, slaves, and Indians friendly to the U.S. States and territories in the region responded by mobilizing militia, recruiting volunteers, and procuring native allies such as the Cherokee to confront the Red Sticks. Of all the forces raised, those led by Tennessee Militia General Andrew Jackson were the most successful. In the fall of 1813, his 2,500 troops established Fort Struther on the Coosa River, which he used as a base for the rest of the war. Subsequent operations included an attack on the Red Stick village of Tallisatchee and relieving the friendly Creek town of Talladega. In March 1814, Jackson marched about 4,000 troops, including native allies and U.S. Army regulars, toward Horseshoe Bend. There, 1,000 Red Stick warriors and a few hundred women and children sheltered behind a breastwork that guarded a bend in the Tallapoosa River. On March 27th, Jackson launched an attack with fire from two small cannon. They inflicted little damage, but at the same time, his Indian allies crossed the river and burned some buildings. With the Red Sticks now distracted, Jackson's infantry assaulted and took the breastwork. The Battle of Horseshoe Bend broke Red Stick resistance. Although some escaped, between 800 and 900 Red Stick warriors died, and most of the women and children were captured. Jackson then advanced to the confluence of the Coosa and Tallapoosa Rivers and built Fort Jackson. In August 1814, he concluded the Treaty of Fort Jackson, which ended the conflict and ceded half of all Creek lands, including much of what is now Alabama and southern Georgia, to the United States. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.